In today's Blender tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys step-by-step step how to make a really simple but realistic looking procedural wood shader in Blender 4.2. This is the node setup here. Um, it's pretty straightforward and there's a lot of adjustability here in the nodes. You can adjust things to get different kind of effects with the wood grain. Um, but yeah, this is really cool and you don't have to unwrap the object that you're working with because we're working procedurally So yeah, this is the wood shader if you guys like this um, Definitely keep watching and I'll quickly let you guys know as well Those of you who might be new to the channel if you want to follow me on Instagram I do have an account you can check that in the description below I post a lot of cool things on there that might inspire you guys to make some more um, You know stuff in blender. So if you want to check that out go ahead um, but let's jump into today's um, wood shader tutorial and if you like it let me know in the description and I might make some more of these sort of wood shaders in the future. So for making my wood shader what I have here is just a simple UV sphere and I also just have a plane in the background and just some basic area lights. Um, nothing fancy, um, you can use whatever scene you want to. The main thing is you make sure in your render settings here that the render engine is cycles since that's what we're going to be working with. And I recommend um, even 50 samples on the max here under the render should be fine. So as long as you have something ready to go, let's go over to our shading workspace. Select your object that you want to add your wood shader to and then click here on new. And then let's just name it something like wood shader. There we go. And by default, Blender creates this principled BSDF for us. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by going Shift A and we're gonna click on search. We're gonna type in noise and get a noise texture. We're then gonna go ahead and go Shift D to duplicate this noise texture, place it next to it. And let's take this first noise texture and let's give it a scale of three. Let's go to the detail and make it 11. And let's go to distortion and make it 1.2, like so. Then. To be able to visualize this, let's just take the color and plug it into the base color here of our principled. And let's go shift A, search and get a color ramp and place it on this cable. And now we're gonna drag this black value up like so and this white value down. And let's just also come to our roughness and make it 0.7 as well. So this is just kind of like the start, but we're gonna make this look even better by taking our second noise texture here we're going to take that factor and we're going to plug it into the vector. And then we're going to come over here and give it a scale of 9. We're going to come here to the detail and make it 11. The roughness, we're going to make 0.55. And let's come here to the distortion and we're going to make that 1.2. And what we're going to do here is I think in doing this tutorial, I've put the distortion here too high on the first noise texture. So I'm just gonna take that back down to zero, like so. Now this is a good base here, but we're gonna make this really look like wood by grabbing this vector here and dragging on it. And we're gonna type in texture coordinate, and we're gonna go with the object over here. So texture coordinate node, and then you can go shift a search and get a mapping. Click on mapping and place it on this cable. And yes, you could use the node wrangler to add these two nodes in, but for most people, this is fine following along. So what we're gonna do here is the goal here now is to stretch this out to create the effect of grain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to the X value here. We're gonna make it 1.1 on the scale. And then we wanna make these two numbers here very small. So we're gonna make them 0.2 like so the Y and the Z. And now we can see we have this wood coming through. So let's actually make this look more like wood. So we're gonna come over here and grab our principal. We're gonna move it up. And next to our color ramp here, we're gonna go shift a search and get a mix um, node here. So we're just gonna go mix color, place it on here. And we're gonna have the color ramp color going into the A over here. Then we're gonna just take the factor of noise here and plug it into the factor of the color ramp. And now let's take this color and plug it into the B over here. And let's take this factor and make it 0.45. And then what we wanna do is we wanna grab this color ramp and go shift D to duplicate it, place it over here. And now the mix is going to the factor here. And now we're gonna take this ramp here and slide it down. 
to about here and we're going to take that and we're going to make this a dark reddish kind of brown like so then we're going to grab the next one move it down a bit and we're going to make this kind of like a tanned kind of lever kind of almost to bring the value down a little bit and then we're going to click plus and drag this one out further and this one will give that kind of like a little bit of an offset a little slightly into the red like so and now we have a really good looking wood grain here which looks very realistic let's make this look even a little bit better by going shift a search this is type in color ramp get another color ramp let's just take this mix output and plug it into the factor and then we're going to take this top color ramp and plug the color into our roughness and now we can just grab these sliders here and adjust them till we get some nice looking roughness on our wood here and i'll quickly show you what it looks like without and then with this node so um, be careful you know how far you go with this you can make it look more matte or more glossy depending on how you distribute these values over here on the color ramp but there we have a wood shader so the way you can change this if you want to is you can always come here now and adjust the scale um, but i think these values here work pretty good and um, the scale here on the first noise as well you can adjust that I think the biggest influence here is probably changing the second um, noise texture here. Um, but you can see already just changing that can really give us a really awesome looking kind of wood shader effect. Um, but yeah, that is how to make a wood shader in Blender. So let's go ahead and go render and just render the image. And there we have our wood shader. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this little tutorial. If you have, go ahead and give a like in the description below. Um, subscribe, check out some of my other content, and I'll see you guys next time.